its brace compared to has become as much of a regular fixture on the program as our Gus. But no doubt he's already sold the machine to make sure that he doesn't get a bad one. Anyway, once again, he's England's Richard Hutchinson. Comes in at 101 for England. Now another handler returning this year is the Irish Brace competitor. Mind you, we will be hoping that things turn out a little bit differently to how they did last time. Here's a reminder. Believe it or not, this simple white post is the most important part of the whole course, as this is where the sheep are waiting. Hopefully the dogs arrive here in unison and all of the characters and personalities can meet for the very first time. Now next up to find out what's in store is a man who won the brace round and the single round in the same year. It's Colin Gordon for Wales. Stuff, but 
he's been in the vehicle and travelling quite a bit and hasn't seen Steve for a few days, so the last country to grace the podium in this year's Waterman and his dog is Wales. Now they need to score over 113 to be crowned champions. Let's meet Graham Powell and his dog Gwen, the team faced with that task. Well, the hope the result for Wales, absolutely sensational finish to this year's competition. Let's have a course to be problems at all. No, the outfield work was, was quite good from all of them, yeah. But those sheep in that shedding ring, I mean, that really is the major story, isn't it, of the yeah. singles? Yeah, it, it was. I mean, poor Matt Watson for England, time up in the shedding ring, just could not come, it just didn't happen for him. And then when he came to Ireland, Frankie McCullough, well, uh, that, that was a near disaster. Him, it did, and there were vital points at the cost of as well. And he's Graham Powell, and he, 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 he got out of the shedding ring, but he got them back and he just got that better score in the shed. And a word on uh, Scott and Rocky. Well, they made it look so easy. I mean, Scotland did trail, but he really did uh, try for Scotland, and uh, he had a very good run. And let's just check the uh, the scores on that then. So, yeah, Scott and Rocky. Scotland, Grant in the shedding ring. Singles round, it's got 124 points, it's good. Yeah, I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. How did you feel it went for you? Did you was it a tricky call? I wasn't tricky course, I lost a few points on the uh, cross drive. And you made it quite a bad for the rest of the morning. Well, I actually thought the other three dogs were standing. Yeah. I thought the Starbucks dogs were standing, so I saw the other dogs. Well, we're going to find out very shortly how that all plays out on the leaderboard. Uh, but before we announce that this year's champions are, we have a very special award that we announce every year. It's the Outstanding Handler Award. And uh, Gus, this year we felt that the uh, the winner of this, this trophy had a real connection with their dog, great potential, and got their country off to a wonderful start. Yes, yes. Only eight months' experience, but handled the dog like a veteran. And of course, it was Leon, Leon Harris. Leon, well done indeed. <laughs> Later, and a welcome guest for Captain Mannering in Dad's Army.